Hey, what's going on guys? Canadian69Gamers here, and welcome to the first episode of a no-name series, which, by the way, you guys should put in the comments because I really don't know what to call it. A series where I'm going to be talking about controversial topics that can get people arguing with me, which is always awesome. So, let's get started. Bullseye. Today's topic is going to be on capital punishment, a uh, very, very controversial topic, I think, um, between many people, um, and uh, I'm going to be doing this topic from a uh, Canadian and American perspective, as I am obviously Canadian. Um, we do not have the, um, the death penalty here in Canada. Unfortunately, I'm a very strong believer of the death penalty. I think it's something um, that's very relevant in terms of um, high-profile um, criminals. Um, I mean, I mean, again, I'm going to be going into depth on what I mean by that kind of further in the video. Um, but I'm also going to be focusing on the American capital punishment because um, in the in the U.S. it's a very controversial thing, especially because you know some states have it, some states don't, and um, it's also very controversial which which uh, method should be used to actually um, do it. So um, I'm going to be discussing some of those things. So um, let's kind of get on with that. So uh, I'm going to start off by just reading some of the uh, states in the U.S. that actually have the uh, uh, death penalty, um, just to kind of let you guys know exactly what, what states do, unless you don't know. So uh, I'm just going to read the list. So the cities that, or the states that do have capital punishment are Texas, Virginia, Oklahoma, Florida, Missouri, Alabama, Georgia, Ohio, North Carolina, South Carolina, Arizona, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Indiana, Delaware, California, Illinois, Nevada, Utah, Tennessee, Maryland, Washington, uh, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, Montana, Kentucky, Idaho, South Dakota, Oregon, Colorado, Connecticut, New Mexico, Wyoming, Kansas, New Hampshire, and that's it. So, so those are all the states in the U.S. that have um, the death penalty, and um, and nowadays the method that's most commonly used is lethal injection which is actually a method that I do not agree with I'll explain why in a little bit um, I'm gonna first kinda go on to explain which um, which crimes I think that capital punishment is um, should be used for um, you know because like I don't believe that capital punishment should be used for white-collar criminals like guys for example who you know car theft or robberies or assault or like whatever like stuff like that is useless of course in countries like China they have that kind of thing um, but um, around the world just to kind of throw it out there most countries that do have capital punishment are like Middle Eastern countries most Asian countries a lot of African countries um, some South American countries so a, a, a lot of countries nowadays um, still do have it um, but um, most European countries don't actually. But um, but yeah. But besides from that, again, I'm talking from the point of view of Canada and the U.S., so I'm gonna kind of stick with that. Um, so I think there are two kinds of uh, of high-profile criminals who should actually receive the death penalty, or who should actually be considered for it. Um, or three, I guess. I guess I could say three. Um, terrorists, obviously, that's a quite obvious one. Um, terrorists. Rapists, for sure. I think rapists are worse than murderers, like, in their own way. I think they're awful people. They ruin people's lives just like murders do. And, obviously, first-degree murders. And only first-degree, they have to be fully proven. Um, and, and, I mean, um, yeah, never mind. Yeah, first-degree, fully proven murders with lots of evidence. And, I mean, like, you don't just want to... I mean, the, the thing is, like, the reason that the death penalty is a very, very controversial topic is because... People are afraid that people will be wrongly convicted and wrongly um, put on death row, obviously, right? And that is a very serious thing, right? You don't want someone getting killed that didn't even commit the crime. So that's obviously the very controversial part of it, and that's a, that's why um, it is illegal in Canada. That's mainly why a lot of people don't like it and why a lot of people want it to stay um, abolished um, or gone, as you can say. Um, but yeah, so um, the... So yeah, like I said, the method that is mostly used is uh, lethal injection, and the thing is, like, the reason that I have a problem with not doing the death penalty for high-profile criminals like terrorists and rapists and murderers and stuff like that, um, all mainly murderers and rapists, is because, like, say that, 
like they were sent to prison, right? Like, all right, I, I'm, I'm just going to make an example. Um, say that there was a guy who just murdered his wife, right? There's a good example. A guy brutally beat his wife to death. That's just an example. And he got sent to prison. So, speaking, this is not in a state that... So, so in my example, this is a, a state that does not have the death penalty um, in it. Um, I can't name one off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's lots. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so say he was sent to prison, right? This guy would, would have full access to um, high-quality food, uh, social interaction, um, kind of, he'd be able to, like, go outside, have full facility use, you know, such as bathrooms and stuff like that. People, like, even, I mean, like, I understand, I hear people say all the time that prison is just as bad as, I mean, is worse than being murdered. It is not, because you're still living, and you're, you are still living most of the still, most of the human functionalities and human rights that people receive. It's, I almost think it's, it's better for some reason. Like, I almost think it's better because you don't have to pay for for food or anything. I mean, like, I mean, I know that sounds really messed up, but like, um, the, um, I think in the uh, the American prison system, the quality of life is way too high um, for it to be for it to be even considered um, a high punishment for guys such as like like for my example, a guy who beat his wife to death. And there are lots of guys like that who are in prison. And should not be, in my opinion. I think they should get the death penalty. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but um, but yeah. Um, if the folks uh, that are wondering why I didn't mention rapists, and I normally would mention rapists for the death penalty because I think that they are awful people. And I think that they should be destroyed as well. But um, but the thing is, if you think about it logically, if uh, if a rapist was sent into an American prison system, it would be way worse than getting a very quick um, death. Because in, in prison, in American prisons, in case you guys don't know, pedophiles are the number one, um, are the number one target um, for murderers. And like pedophiles are like the first ones dead in prison. So and they would get a very brutal death. I guarantee that. Um, a lot more brutal than than any capital punishment would ever be able to give. So that's why I think pedophiles should be going to prison. Um, be, for that reason exactly, because that they would get a way worse punishment than they ever would with a capital punishment um, uh, giving, I guess you could say. Um, another thing I wanted to to touch base on are the methods used. Like I said um, before, the main method used nowadays, um, as opposed to what it used to be with you know the uh, the electric chair hanging, beheading back in like the <laughs> back in like the barbaric medieval days. Um, I'm not sure when they stopped doing that, but probably quite some time from now. But the electric chair is actually still fairly recent. Um, they, I, I don't think they do it anymore, but um, but it but like they recently started using uh, the lethal injection. Um, but uh, but yeah, I personally think that um, that the electric chair should be still used mainly because I mean like I'm okay. The thing is, lethal injection. I've like I read stuff. It's not a very painful way to die. I mean, sure, you feel it, but I don't think it's... I mean, like, if you're going to give somebody the death penalty, at, at least make them suffer, right? Like, that's the whole point of it, I think, in my opinion, right? Like, if you're... I mean, like, if they're not going to die painfully, I feel like, yeah, they may as well just, like, go to prison. You know what I mean? So, like, if they were just going to give them a lethal injection, which kills them, like, almost instantly, then that's almost pointless, right? The electric chair... It like electric like it, that is a painful way to die. That's a very painful way to die. Um, I think that's a lot more um, like punishing than than um, than lethal injection. I feel like that would actually serve justice to those who actually deserve capital punishment. Um, guys, for example, like I said, the guy who beat his wife to death. I think that would be a way more suitable uh, punishment for him. And for, like, real-life examples, I'll, I'll start naming some, you know, guys in the past, you know, like Jeffrey Dahmer and John Wayne Gacy, Ted Bundy, um, you know, well, Ted Bundy received uh, capital punishment through uh, through electric chair, you know, but he definitely he definitely deserved that, you know, he was a terrible person. Um, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer was killed in prison, but, I mean, he, he could have been easily suitable for uh, capital punishment, obviously. Um, I'm not sure about John Wayne Gacy. I think he was... Um, given the death penalty as well but i'm not 100 percent sure um he might have been killed in prison as well too actually like i, like I said i'm not 100 percent sure on him 
Um, like I don't know very much about him personally, but but yeah. So I mean, I really want you guys to put in the comments again. The whole point of this series is to is to get your opinions out on very controversial topics and to kind of speak your mind. So this comment section of this series, this unnamed series, again, please leave a name in the series, a name in the comments of what you think this series should be called, and um, please leave your comments um, of what you what you think about capital punishment. And if you if you disagree with me about something, please let me know. I'd love to see your opinions. I really would. That's the whole point of this series. If you agree with me on something, great. Let me know, and maybe you even have something to add. So that would be great. Um, I really appreciate your guys' time. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys want to see more of this series, let me know. If you also have any ideas for future uh, topics, I will do them, I promise. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. It's been Canadian69Gamers. Peace out, guys.